the items into groups of three because three is a big part of our story today. So now we're going to the story. So I want you guys to listen carefully. Let's see if you can see that. All right. Lately, we've been talking about how to be a good friend, right, and how to help each other. Um, and last week, we talked about how Jesus was a servant. And what did he wash? What did he do? Wash the feet. The feet. He washed the disciples' feet to show them that he loved them very much, right? So the Bible story today happens after that, just a little bit after that. So it shows even more what a good friend Jesus is. So today's Bible story has to do with a holiday that's this weekend. What's this weekend? Can someone Easter. raise their hand? Can you raise your hand and tell me? Easter. Raise your hand. A quiet hand. Oliver. Easter. Easter. It's Easter on Sunday, right? So we're going to talk about why Easter is a holiday. So our story starts today with Jesus and his friends, the disciples, and they're doing something special together. So, um, do you guys like to do special things with your friends? Yes. Yeah? No. No? I like to do special things with my friends. I so, what special thing do you think Jesus did with his friends? What am I doing? What am I doing? Share food. Eating. They had a meal together. So, here are they? All the disciples, and they're sitting at the table, and they're eating together. Oh, so, where, where, where's their food? Where's their food? It's right here. It's just in the bowl. So that's what they're eating, okay? And those are the disciples and Jesus. I think they're chocolate bunnies. I don't think they're, they're probably bread, bread and meat and stuff. So this was called the Last Supper. Why do you guys think it was called the Last Supper? Because it was the last thing they were eating with the wine. Actually, you're close, Harper. It, it was, was the, the last, last meal. Day. It was the last meal that Jesus had with his friends and his disciples before something really sad happened. So we're going to get to that next. Yep, we'll raise your hand. Raise your hand. And pull up. So, while Jesus was eating with his friends, he made them a very special promise. He told them that it was time. I'm reading the story. He told them that it was time for him to go away and that he was going to die. And this made the disciples really sad. And they didn't want that to happen, but Jesus told them that there was You're nothing. Not Ava, please listen. He told them that there was nothing they could do about it. Okay, so the disciples were very sad, and then it kind of got worse. Jesus told them that there was someone, one of the friends, that was going to betray him. Okay, so does his face look kind of mad? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus knew who it was. His name was Judas, and so Jesus told him. Go, you can leave and go do what you need to do. So Judas left, probably to go get some soldiers. So Judas left, and then Jesus and his disciples, um, they kept talking. And he told them many things to encourage them since they were sad and came. He told them that they must love one another as he loved them. And last week, our verse was, love one another. So Jesus told them to love one another. He also promised that he would give them peace and that they would have great joy after this happened, and that their sorrow that they had right now was going to turn into joy, and that no one could take it from them. So Jesus then took some bread and some wine, and he gave thanks to God, um, and he shared it with his disciples, and he told his disciples to remember him by doing this. And this sometimes we do at church now, and it's called communion. So after they spent all this time together and they talked, they then went to a garden. Okay, so Jesus went up by himself alone, and he prayed, and he prayed to God, um, and he said to God that he was ready for God's will to be done, that he was ready for what, what was going to happen next, but when he came back to his disciples, what does it look like they're doing? They all fell asleep because they were really tired, so Jesus woke them up, and he said that it was time for him to be taken away. Well, the disciples were probably pretty scared. And right after Jesus said this, a gang of men walked in, and they had swords, and they looked kind of scary. And then Judas was with them, the one that betrayed Jesus. And Judas told them who Jesus was. Or, Judas told them who Jesus Why was. Why was Jesus need to take away? Because they, um, there were some people, and they didn't like him, and so they wanted to capture him. So that's what they did. Okay, that's what they did took him away. But Jesus knew it was going to happen, and he said, he said, you're looking for me, and you can take me, but please let my disciples go. So he told them to just take him. So that's what they did. They captured Jesus, and they took him to jail. Okay? But he's not in jail. He's just 
Right there yep. is the king. He is. He's in jail. And that's the governor. His name is Pontius Pilate. Is he nice? Um, he actually sentenced Jesus to death. He asked the people in the town if they wanted Jesus to be um, like put in jail and sentenced to death or another bad man. And they picked Jesus, even though Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. We'll, we'll find out. So this is the question. So And then they took him to a place called Golgotha. Can you guys all say Golgotha? Golgotha. Yeah. So they took him to Golgotha. So they see they took him away. And then they took him up to Golgotha. They nailed Jesus to a cross. That's what the Romans did um, a long time ago. And it's called crucifixion. That's how they punished people who did bad things. Um, even though Jesus hadn't done anything bad. So up on the cross, um, Jesus was up there for a while. And near the end, he was about to die, but he cried out, and he cried out to God and said, Father, I put myself in your hands. And then he died. Um, and see this crowd right here? There was a crowd of Jesus' friends and Jesus' mom, and they were watching this terrible thing happen. And they were brokenhearted. And then when, after it happened, then they, they left and went. No, we gotta go outside. Yeah, okay, but then, guess what? So Jesus died, right? And there was a man named Joseph. Do you see Joseph? There's a man named Joseph. He was a good man. And he went and asked for Jesus' body. Okay? So he took Jesus' body and he laid him in a tomb of stone. See, it's like a little cave. They put his body there because um, they needed to get ready to bury Jesus. So, all this happened on Friday. So, like, today's Friday, right? And this is called Good Friday. So, on this same day, long time ago, many years ago, this is what was happening. So... Saturday, they couldn't bury Jesus yet because it was called the Sabbath. They had to rest. So they had to wait till Sunday. So let's count out the days. Can you hold up your fingers? Count up. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What number is that? Three. Three. Remember how I said three was going to be important in our story? Mm -hmm. We're about to find out what happened. So there were some women. Let's look. There were some women that were with Joseph, and they rolled a big stone in front of the cave to keep Jesus safe until they could bury him. And they were sad and crying, probably. And they left to go get ready to bury him. So on Sunday morning, the third day, the women came back to the tomb. But when they got there, the stone was rolled away. The ground shook, and an angel of the Lord come, came down and rolled the stone away from them. Because it was a big stone. It was so big, it took a lot of people to move it out of the way for them. And they didn't know who was going to move it. But when they got there, it was already rolled away. So the angel standing there, and he was dressed in white and shining, and the women were so amazed, but they were also really scared because they'd never seen anything like this before. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus who died. He is not here, for he has risen from death just as he said. Come and see where he lay. So they walked in the tomb, and sure enough, there was no man. Jesus wasn't there. His body was gone. They were like, how can this be? They didn't understand, but they were so excited. They left the tomb right away to tell the other disciples. Because all the other disciples had left him at home, right? They were really sad. So they ran, and they were really excited, and they told all the disciples. But they didn't believe them. They didn't believe them. So they ran all the way to the tomb to see if Jesus' body was really gone. And was it gone? Yeah, it was gone. So they were all talking. They went back together. They were all talking, like, wondering, how could this be? What was happening? So they were all in the room. And then they heard a voice. And it said, peace be with you. But when they looked up, Jesus was standing right there next to them. He was alive. He was alive. But the disciples, but he died. They were thinking, but he died. How could he be alive? It must be a ghost. It has to be a ghost. It can't be Jesus. But Jesus said, why are you afraid? Why do you doubt? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. Touch me and feel that I'm alive. I have flesh and bones, just like you. I'm not a ghost. So they touched him, and they felt he was real. But they were so amazed, so they marveled. And then, guess what Jesus asked them? You know what he said? He asked for something to eat, and they gave him something to eat, and he ate it. And they realized he is alive. He did rise from the grave, just like he said he would. So Jesus was a good friend. He loved his disciples. And he 
he loves all of us so much that he died for us. So we can have great joy in that too, just like the disciples. That was amazing. Yeah, and we have a new Bible verse. We have a new Bible verse. Are you ready for it? It's a friend loves at all times. So can you do this? A friend. Here, can you do this? A friend. A friend. Loves. Hug yourself. Loves at all times. Can we say it all together. A friend loves at all times. So that can remind us to help love one another. So, so, so. This is the bestest story yep. for my And that's the story of Easter. Yeah.